Hello everyone, I'm MK. And I'm Connor, and we're the hosts here on Weekend Update, Grayzik Central Edition. As we know, online school has been a failure. School districts from coast to coast have been have reported the numbers of students failing classes has risen by two to three times. But we're lucky to get back to school on Tuesday for the last couple months of our senior year. And to show us how well online learning is going, here's a guy who absolutely sucks at online learning. I just don't get it. I put my alarm to wake up for my Zoom and my teacher leaves me. What kind of teacher would do that? Oh no. All right, well, thank you so much, Danny, for sharing your experiences of online learning with us. But now let's move on to our next weekend update. As we all know, COVID has kind of been a really crappy thing over 2020 and now moving into 2021. However, the IHSA had a meeting this week discussing their further actions on sports. Um, they decided to postpone once again, but have opened up the options for um, some contact days. Now, did it really surprise me that they were going to postpone? No, because every single person in the IHSA is going to get down on their hands and knees and pray to this dude. Oh, wait, um, that's the wrong image. I actually meant this dude, J.B. Pritzker. I guess this works too. They look pretty similar. But, yeah. So, you know, J.B. Pritzker is going to shut everything down again. Doesn't surprise me. Um, we're just going to have to kind of get used to it, move forward. Um, but also, it really doesn't make sense how our COVID cases are rising. 80% of Illinois is fields, cornfields. So that makes absolutely no sense how people could be so close to one another and cases could still be rising. Whenever I'm out, I see people wearing their masks. I don't see people hanging out very often, but unless someone's having a party in a cornfield, I have no idea. And if so, I want the invite. So that is all from me and MK for today. Now we are going to move over to our social media reporter, Zoel Martinez, who has a very special guest for us. Please welcome Zoel Martinez. As we know, we spend most of our time on our phones now that we're not at school or doing anything. One app that has been used like crazy is TikTok. Even a GCHS grad himself became famous. He is our special guest. Three dot Corey! What's up guys? What's up guys? Alright Corey, so everyone knows that you're famous on TikTok, but like how much money do you really make? Like there's like all these little kids like in your videos, come on now, like you, you gotta get a new job. I know honestly, I've been thinking about getting like a real job because like this is all I made from yesterday, like off my videos. Like honestly, I might need a new job, you know? Uh, yeah, like, you, you definitely need a new job. But anyways, next subject, uh, so I see, like, I'm, you do push-ups every night, like, on your story. Like, what is that all about? Yeah, you know, I just want to, like, keep my fans, like, in shape. Got to keep them fit and healthy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, always. Uh, have you been doing them? Uh, yeah, come on, 382, come on, get down! 383, 384, come on, bro! All right, Corey, so after this push-up, I got a question for you. Uh, how do you, like, live life after, you know, all this TikTok fame? Well, you know, it's kind of, it's been all right, you know? Like, I just got, like, the new iPhone 12, you know? I got the um, the PS5, the, um, oh, I bought a new house, actually. I got a new car. I own three companies now. I bought my parents a, a mansion. Uh, so now after talking about you, like, uh, you know, getting all your stuff from, like, TikTok fame, I mean, it was a decent amount. Uh, I've actually started TikTok myself. Really? Yeah, and I've actually got a lot of stuff here. I'll show you here. All right. Um, I've actually got, uh, like, oh, that's a Panda Express receipt. Uh, I've gotten a dollar from donations. Bro, I bought you a cookie the other day. You owe me that, Dolly. Oh. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Uh, Let me get that. Here. Uh... All right, Corey, I just want to say thank you for being my special guest in my interview. Uh, do you have any last comments to say? Um, yeah, actually, um, I just wanted to do it. All right, Corey, so...